Hey booktube, join me for a book haul. I'm Jen and I talk about audiobooks most of the time. And you know, I have a book haul to share with you and I probably shouldn't be doing that because I just got back from a three week road trip with my husband where we made a big circle. We went out uh, kind of halfway across the U.S. and then down through the south and then back up again trying to figure out where we wanted to live because we know we're leaving here but we weren't sure quite where we wanted to go. It's a really exciting time. Um, it's also a really terrifying time. <laughs> it kind of makes you want to throw up all the time. But um, I'm really excited. I think we've uh, landed on where we want to be, so I'm excited about that. Uh, clearly, there are boxes everywhere behind me, you can tell. And um, so really not an optimum time to be buying books, but you know, on the road trip, inevitably, I would need to run into Dollar Tree for one little thing, and I'd always end up looking at the books because you always have to look at the books when you're at Dollar Tree. Yeah, I bought some. I bought a lot of them. But, yeah. Um, let me just show you what they are. So, okay. First book that I got. Um, this I did not buy. This was given to me by Lisa at Books and Smiles. Um, it's called You're the One That I Want by Giovanna Fletcher. She loved this book. She thought it was great. And uh, so did Sophie from All Things Equilateral. We three did the chick lit -a -thon in the entire month of May. Sophie was really the host and then Lisa and I joined in to help her out. So they tell me this is good. This is adult chiclet. <laughs> it's adult um, uh, romance pretty much. It says sweet and romantic. This love story is a charming read. So I'm all about that. I'm looking forward to getting around to that one when I'm ready for chiclet again. Now, one of the things about Dollar Tree is that you can never get all the books in a series. Like, you, it's, it's so random. You just never know what you're going to find. So I was really surprised that I found two books in this series. Um, this, I believe, is New Adult Contemporary, and it's called Inside Out and Upside Down. And these are by Leah, or, yeah, Leah Riley. After the girl of his dreams turned into a nightmare, he moved back home to Melbourne to piece his life together. So she's a California girl, he is an Aussie, so yeah. That just sounds like a recipe for greatness. Faking Normal is by Courtney C. Stevens and it is YA contemporary and that's really about all I know about it. All of these, I read the synopsis and thought, oh, that sounds interesting, so yeah. They're a dollar, they're hard to pass up. Stitching Snow is by R.C. Lewis and it is YA, um, fairy tale retelling slash sci-fi. I don't know how uh, much in the vein of the Lunar Chronicles by uh, Marissa Meyer that this is going to be. That's another YA series that is all a bunch of fairy tale retellings. But, you know, for a dollar, I thought, well, that kind of sounds interesting. Um, it is a Snow White retelling. Quantum Coin is a book that I couldn't believe that I found. This is by E.C. Myers, um, and it's time travel. And the reason I know about this book is that it's on audio, and McLeod Andrews narrates it. It's a duology, but it's uh, Quantum Coin, and the other one is Fair Coin, and like I say, time travel. Royce Rolls is by Margaret Stoll, and it is YA Contemporary, and it, it's like trashy soap opera. <laughs> this is a book that I know my good friend Love Michaela Eve, Michaela from Love Michaela Eve, uh, really liked and was really excited about. And so it's all about a family that is on a reality TV show and a girl who is um, dealing with that. This was blurbed by all kinds of people on the back. Man, I'm not kidding. Veronica Roth, Marie Lou, Ransom Riggs, Brendan Rikes, Cami Garcia. Wow lots of people so it has some potential so I'm interested you know on the front it says um, a truly clueless take on where do you go Bernadette this hands this is hands down the funniest book I've read all year that was something Melissa De La Cruz said so she's another YA author so hmm definitely has some potential 
And A Handful of Dust is by Mindy McGinnis. It is book two in the Not a Drop to Drink duology. And I didn't really love this book. I really liked Not a Drop to Drink, especially on audio because the narrator was so suited for the main character who was narrating the story. So this one, um, is the follow-up and I didn't like it nearly as well. I didn't like the story nearly as well, but you know, Minnie McGinnis, that woman can tell a story so amazingly. And so while I am totally okay with not buying all the books in a series, if I didn't like all the books in a series, when I saw this for a dollar, I thought, you know what? I think I'm gonna get it. So yeah, grabbed that one. That is YA post-apocalyptic. Lady Renegades is by Rachel Hawkins, and this is, I think, book two in the Rebel Bell series. Uh, I've not read that series. It's YA, kind of contemporary with a kind of superhero twist. And um, I don't know, uh, I hear it's really funny, really funny. When it came out a couple of years ago, it was really hilarious. I think it is a trilogy. I think all three books are out, yeah, anyway. If I like the series, I'll be glad I have this and I can get the rest of them. Invaded is by Melissa Landers. It is book two in the, her Alienated series, which started out as a duology and then she wrote a third book. So now it's a trilogy. And I loved this series. This is about, um, it's YA and it's about uh, two foreign exchange students, except that he's from a different planet and she's from Earth. And so they switch. And the first book, Alienated, is told um, and it's all about his experience living on Earth. And this is all about her experience living on his planet. So, yeah, you can kind of tell um, his planet is all like blah. Um, it's like it has no color, whereas hers has lots of color. So uh, clearly it's here. I like that one a lot. Life Drawing for Beginners is by... Roisin Meany, or yeah, Roisin Meany, and it is adult chiclet, and it's about a woman who um, is a, a drawing, like an art instructor, and she starts a class, and it's all about the people who get involved in it. It just looked really interesting. Um, I liked the cover. I liked, I don't know, it was appealing, so yeah, we'll see. Delirium Stories is by Lauren Oliver. It is a book of novellas having to do with the Delirium Trilogy. I loved the first book in that trilogy. I read all the books, hated with such a raging passion the last book, which is called Requiem. The second book was okay. I didn't love it, but I did read the novellas. And so once again, you know, you don't have to buy all of the books in a series if you don't like them. I don't have the second and third book in that series. I have a first edition copy of Delirium and then another copy of it. And these were good. I liked these. They kind of filled out the story. So grab that. Sense and Sensibility and Sea Monsters is by Jane Austen and Ben H. Winters. This is part of a series of Jane Austen novels that they um, that were put together with, um, I don't know, I don't know, is this horror? It says, from the publisher from Pride and Prejudice and Zombies comes a new tale of romance, heartbreak, and tentacle mayhem. So, I don't know, somebody wanted to combine those and so then the series was born. I've seen these all over the place, all of the books in the series, but you know why I got this was because I thought my youngest daughter Michaela might like it. Uh, it's kind of right up her alley, so I don't know. I'm probably going to pass this along to her, but mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'll look it up on audio, sample it, and see if it's got any potential. Spirits and Thieves by Morgan Rhodes is the first book in a series that is a follow-up series of hers um, for Fallen Kingdoms. And I think this is more, or that is more young adult, this is more new adult, this is, or maybe even adult. Um, it's fantasy. Uh, I, you know, so many people rave about this, and I do love fantasy from time to time. So, you know, it, I mean, it's a wonderful hardback book, and it was a dollar. It was a dollar. Couldn't pass it up. So, yeah. 
The Age of Miracles is by Karen Thompson Walker. It is YA post-apocalyptic. And what happens here is that the world, um, the planet Earth, um, it starts to slow down. And as it slows down, you know, everything changes. And so when I read this probably five years ago, I was not overly impressed with it. But it is very highly rated. And um, I don't know if it's middle grade. I, I, you might call it middle grade. I'm not sure. Um, I can't remember how old the protagonist is. But um, I don't know. It was okay. I didn't love it. Probably because I listened to it on audio. But um, I still think it's an important book. You know, um, some post-apocalyptic novels are really smart and they're written well. And I think, I didn't like the ending on this, but that doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean that somebody else who comes to my house or stays at my house or lives at my house wouldn't really like this. So every time my girls come to visit, they go through my shelves and they go, hmm, I'm bored. What can I read? So this might be a good choice. And the last one is The Fall by R.J. Pinheiro. This sounds really good. It is adult sci-fi and it's about a guy who does orbital skydiving. So like, you know, you go up to the edge of the atmosphere and skydive and he ends up going through a wormhole into another dimension. And you know, I am such a sucker for that kind of a story. So, um, you know, I'll have to ask my good buddy, Karen, if she's read this. Um, and if not, you know, maybe I can read it and if it's good, I'll tell her you should read this but usually she is the absolute expert when it comes to this kind of book so she's recommended a couple books to me lately that i've got to pick up and read so i just thought you know I, it just looks really good um douglas preston who is an author said one of the most original and electrifying science-based thrillers that i have read in a long time so that has potential so so that's my book haul yeah, um, adding to the collection. It's always good to have more books. I love buying more books, and it, obviously I'm going to give a couple of those away. So anyway, if you've read any of them, let me know what you thought. If you've read any that I haven't read yet, definitely let me know what you thought of them. And um, yeah, I guess that's it for now for me. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.